next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's gonna give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, kind of hard to believe that Stephen Wonderboy Thompson has yet to realize a UFC championship. Truly a special striker. Most welterweights believe, DC, this is as hard a guy to prepare for as anybody in the division. Of course it is, because Stephen Wonderboy Thompson is in that traditional karate stance. He's standing far back, one leg way out in front, and he's just a great counter striker. If you get overzealous against Stephen Thompson, you are going to sleep. You cannot just rush him. You have to take your time, so a lot of his fights look very similar because guys don't know how to approach the counter-striking style of Wonderboy. Wild success as an amateur and professional kickboxer. Truly put Simpsonville, South Carolina on the UFC map. His father, Ray, there firmly in his corner. Stephen Wonderboy Thompson looking to make one more run here to UFC welterweight title contention. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Thompson is 11 years the elder. The reach is the same. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of. 10 wins, no losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Force Chibaya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your phones, not fight. implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Okay, you're okay. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. That was a nice play. Nice sprawl there as he stuffs another takedown. So that was a big priority coming in, and the takedown defense has absolutely held up to him. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job of understanding the threat of the takedown. He's recognized it, he's defended it before it's even gotten started. Big kick lands. Well, some of the collar tie here. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. All right, north south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Side control now. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Oh, oh, oh. All right, take a seat. Three, deep breath. All right, how's the vision? You see? Okay, listen, the eye's looking pretty bad here. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. Oh, 
Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Good punch land. Circling towards the left now. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Single collar tie. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! He went high on that one. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Man, he is sniffing out these takedowns from a mile away. Stuffed another shot there. Oh, Father Ray liked that one. A beautiful land there by Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Let's see if he can close the distance now, DC, and follow it up. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. Get the turn in that kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. What a body kick. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, all right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Twenty seconds left. Seconds winding down in round two. Solid strike on the ground. How's the vision? See? Okay, listen. The eye's looking pretty bad here. We need to improve our defense. I cannot 
All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Pretty good knee to the body by Wonderboy Thompson. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he lands. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. Big kick. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he's up. But he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Thompson's elbow attempt here. That one blocked by the defense. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, high-level takedown defense there. He continues to stuff every takedown attempt throughout this round. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Good movement by him here. Transitioning very well on the ground, too. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Punch over the top. Single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh! That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh! He got him. All right, he closes. That is how you scramble, folks. 94 total strikes have now landed for Stephen Thompson. And in terms of the accuracy, landing at a 50% clip tonight against Stephen Thompson. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Single collar tie now. Seconds to go. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. 
he deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And there's a takedown attempt. Great punch. Oh, collar tie. Big kick lands. That's Great three rounds in the can. Yeah. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action Ready? continues at a Ready? high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Thompson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. Lands a nice one, too. And we'll get back to his feet yet again. Oh, but not a good look for the judges here. Look how wobbly he is. Well, missed on that one. Thompson's knee strike here is blocked. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that right hand is on point. Pretty significant yelp to the left side. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Oh, he's out! He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.